With esports viewership on the rise, so are the career opportunities that support this growing industry. Beyond the athletes, supporting roles include everything that traditional sports typically have, like performance and health management, marketing, administration, and obviously there's a greater need for technology support. Specific programs like the one at University of Michigan, Flint, are arming the future of this industry with the skills and needs to continue its growth. To educate us today, we have Jason Gooding, eSports coordinator at the University of Michigan, Flint. So Jason, tell me a little bit more about your eSports program. Well, we started the eSports program roughly as the pandemic uh, started. Um, so it was a, a little bit of a battle there to get it going. Uh, we started out with 18 students um, from the get-go. Uh, a year later, in our second year, we had more than increased by 110%. We were roughly around 40 students. Um, and as, if, if we're lucky, looking at this coming year, which would be our third year uh, within eSports, we're close to 68 to 70 students, and we continue to grow. That's amazing. And so in this program, what are the main disciplines that, um, that you and the team are focused on? Uh, one of the first things is teamwork. Um, looking at students and they, how they communicate, how they work together, how they, they problem solve. Um, a lot of the games that they, they play together, they have to have these, this split second decision and it could make or break the outcome of the game that they compete in. And what are some of the hottest career areas in esports? Well, typically you would think it'd be in the technology world, which it does have a strong uh, stronghold. You could look at your streamers or your broadcasters, just like you would in traditional sports, broadcasting uh, those events. You do have the athletes that if there are the ones that are fortunate enough to move forward and compete at a pro level, it is also very lucrative uh, income for them. But then we also have the, the sides of the support where we'd come in with the network interfaces, uh, the support from the business side, um, health side, uh, really there's, there's roughly about 250 careers that stem off of, of the esports industry. And it is everything from the players themselves all the way to the business manager or the physical therapist that would help that athlete um, along the way. That's awesome. It sounds like there's a lot of opportunity in this industry. Um, and what is one of the things you're most excited about um, as it continues to grow? But as I look forward, I, what I'm excited about is to see how U of M Flint is able to compete on the, the level playing field that is provided by esports. And it, so we're not limited to just the, the smaller universities, but we do compete against the schools uh, in the Big Ten, like in Ohio State, Michigan State, or even Ann Arbor's campus at U of M in Ann Arbor. And with a level playing field in esports, it is quite unique to see how we are able to take these these local students and have them compete at that high level and can bring some notoriety back to U of M Flint, which would be an awesome uh, return. Absolutely. Well, Jason, thank you so much for joining us today and sharing a lot of the information on esports and all of the growth and, and many of the career opportunities that are available um, at the University of Michigan Flint. And uh, for anybody out there checking around, make sure to check out some additional content on the feed. And uh, thank you very much. All right, thank you.